We are hearing reports, uh, r- rumors, yeah. that, uh, what did you hear about Dave Chappelle? Did you hear this? He said something about, you know, the thing in Palestine that they're doing right now, and somebody was like, F you. He goes, no, you shut up, and a billion of our dollar. You know, he made a pretty yeah. pretty good argument, actually. And uh, it wasn't some overwhelming, they all hated him. It was so he like, was being, he was... So he somebody just, was mad because a, he brought up Israel, happened. Palestine, yeah. what's yeah. happening. Someone got mad. Yeah. He told him to shut up. Yeah, they had a little and they back and, and they went had a little back and forth. He's yeah. and then they walked out of his show. Yeah. Part of the crowd was yelling free Palestine, apparently. Also, really? Yeah. So it, it was a they're was, splitting Dave Chappelle's audience. It, it for it, his crowd formed a, two states. <laughs> 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 so I just want so I'm rem- so this was the joke so this special he got in trouble for his trans jokes but I remember man that's a badass looking suit too I, he always looks good on stage and um but here he is what now remember this joke I can't believe he didn't get canceled for this was the joke I thought as I'm watching this I'm watching this with Stephen I'm like what the f it, it could, he can't they're airing this on Netflix yeah. Watch this. This is what I'm talking about. And it made me think of an idea for a movie. It sounds dumb, but hear me out. Turn up a little more. In my movie idea, we find out that these aliens are originally from Earth. That they're from an ancient civilization that achieved interstellar travel and left the Earth thousands of years ago. Some other planet they go to and things go terrible for them in the other planet. So they come back to Earth, decide that they want to claim the Earth for their very own. It's a pretty good plot line, huh? I call it Space Jews. <laughs> and when his master granted him the freedom. How in the hell? That's the first part of the joke. There's another part coming. Yeah. How in the hell? Well, watch. This is the, this is the part part. Okay, here we go. He also gave him a plot of land. Now, it turns out this brother was brilliant. He had a, a, good, he had a good eye, a good knack for farming. And, and he farmed this plot of land very successfully and made a lot of money. And this is where the story gets crazy. Uh, when he got all that money, this nigga bought some slaves. <laughs> you ever heard this before? This is a true story. Not only was he a slave owner, he became a slave breeder and employed tactics that were so cruel, even white slave owners were like, yo, my man. He was a wild dude, but he did it just because that's what successful people did at the time. And he just wanted to be down. What a fucking tragedy. How can a person that went through slavery perpetrate the same evil on a person that looks just like him? It's mind blowing. And shockingly, they're making a movie about it. Ironically, it's called Space Jukes. <laughs> How did he get? Well, or, when did this come out? This but, is close to BLM. Look, at close to the when BLM started, who said we support Hamas up front, people that are shocked. That's when Jews are also another kind of white people. We're close to the BLM times in America. Uh huh. You're just another kind of white. Okay. Now, as time has gone, and nobody's thinking about Gaza. I forgot about that blockade the whole time. All this stuff was going on with trans or whatever. And now that this is flaring up again after all these years of being mad about the trans jokes and not this joke, now this is flaring up again. So now the the it, the alliance that was not really firm other than mass corporate promotion of it is crumbling because a bunch of BLM and all the people of color, all those titles and that and Israel and Palestine, that doesn't really go together. And now it's coming out. Yeah, so that's so... And so now that might, like I said... So ba- BLM is on the side of Palestine. Palestine. They always and, were. And yeah. so all those people, celebra- I'm talking about Hollywood celebrities and what have you, who are on the side of BLM, mm-hmm. are now, they're on the side of Israel. And so now it's really... The ones that are going to make it are. The ones who are, yeah. <laughs> The Go ahead, Craig, you want to say it. something? Yeah. No, no, I just laughing. Uh, okay. About that. <laughs> so, that's, so that's what you're woke is really Hollywood, yeah. the most propaganda. And this is breaking off. This is like during a strike. Yeah. All, like where they tell them not to wear Halloween costumes or whatever for the strike. <laughs> all kinds of nonsense. Jeez. So it's, it's funny. The nonsense that regular people have noticed for a long time is now making its way up to the bubble, the different bubbles, like it's spread to all the islands of reality. <laughs> and that's, that's what the exciting part is. You know, that and the upcoming, we're going to blow up, but it is fun to watch this part of it where all those things you knew were ridiculous 
for these people act like they had a coalition uh, uh, watching that split apart. Wow. This is, I mean, I still can't get over this joke. That, 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 that so that, that is. In so, America, Jews are white people. Unless so they're that in is, trouble. If you're like, when Sarah's like, oh, hey, I didn't know what I said about Joanne Reed. Like, yeah. Try to go back to. Yeah. But even Whoopi Goldberg, remember? Whoopi Goldberg stuck with her comments that the Holocaust is white on white crime. She stuck with that going on another show to clarify. She stuck with. Yeah. She was like that Israeli ambassador talking about doing Dresden crimes. The way she stuck with that. So this stuff's splitting up now. Now you see the So cold, this yeah. is this is the end of woke. And the reason why he was able to get away with that joke, your theory is that because white he's making fun of white people, yes. white people are bad, and Jews are were white people, according to the in that in that in that era in of America. Bla- and also trans was way more important than this at the time, yeah. if you recall. We, we, yeah. That was like there was nothing more important in the entire world in the entire world than yeah. trans issues. So I mean, it really is like magic to do one joke that can make people upset while they're upset about yeah. this other joke. He right. also Chappelle's did the great. Saturday Night Live thing too, Kurt, too, as well, what? when he went after, after this, he did the Saturday Night Live thing where he went after Trump a little bit, kind of. Yeah, you and that was kind of like, when we saw that, it was like, okay, he's kind of caressing back the mainstream media now and he all those says executives. What he thinks. And, no, I think, says what he yeah. thinks. I, I yeah. think that, I, I, you know, I didn't, I hate, I didn't see the whole, uh, his whole Saturday Night Live set. But I did see the part where he said that Trump was an honest liar, which made me, you know, pull my hair out because I've been doing a version of that joke for over a year before he did it on Mm -hmm. Saturday Night Live. And now people are going to think that I'm piggybacking off his ideas when it was parallel construction. Oh, I would just drop it. And ha, ah, I'm not dropping that. He's going to be president again, it looks like. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe it'll kick in. But, but, but that, that's yeah. what I remember about him doing on Saturday Night Live was he, he did. So you're saying, but Craig, you're saying he went after Trump on Saturday Night Live? A little bit. I mean, for me, I kind of felt when we saw that, that was like him retracting a little bit. Like, well, I'll go back to, you know, behaving somewhat. You know, I won't go crazy to the walls. Was. I yeah. felt that way when I watched the whole thing. You know, oh, Chappelle, I thought it was ballsy of him yeah. to say that Trump was an honest liar. Chappelle says what he wants. I mean, Chappelle, look, if you ditch a fifth, unlike 50, John Stewart, yeah. Chappelle had a fifty million contract and said sayonara, sayonara. I'm going to South Africa because I just don't like the vibe of this. And I understand. I didn't get it at the time. And, it, and 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 I didn't realize that when he walked away from that contract, that they told him that you know we'll make you look like a mental case before you. They even, did, and they did. Yeah, and I thought he I was. thought he was a mental case for a couple of minutes before I understood how the business was. Before I understood how <laughs> what was happening. Yeah, John Stewart probably just realized that he wasn't crazy just now <laughs> with his fifty million. You mean he was after? I mean after he went on Colbert and did the lab leak joke? No, after he got punked into doing that interview, he didn't want to do with Condi and Hillary instead of running to Africa like a real man. Yeah, yeah. It's tough, man. It, it's t- you can't have heroes in this world. You can't have heroes. Well, you just don't worship them as a god. That's my advice to everyone. Yeah. I, you can look up to people, but just know they're flawed. Everybody has huge flaws, right? Great men have great flaws. I don't even care if you're great. If you did a thing I like, I like that thing you did. Yeah. <laughs> if you do something I, that I hate, or that I, why does everybody need to have their box of the good and bad people? We're, we're going to do Star Wars forever? People need people to believe in. Right, you know, I think that's it. But no principles. People don't need that. People, people I, I, I do. I'm, this, I'm, I'm no yeah. different, right? I mean, I, I believed in Bernie Sanders, and it, what a, what a heartbreak for me, you know. Um, I, I wanted to. Oh boy, RFK Jr. When, mm. when he was saying all the right things about Ukraine, the war machine, and the COVID, and the Fauci's, and the lockdowns, and the, and he stood up to the big pharma. And I'm like, well, this guy obviously is the real deal. And then he just totally shits the bed on World War Three. Yeah, he did. I yeah. said it to him when I had him. I go, don't you, you know, you're losing your, you're not going to be the anti-war candidate. However, I said it. I go, you can't be an anti-war candidate now because of this Israeli stance. Doesn't that bother you? Is, are you worried about that? No. He's, he's, he's pro-war. He's pro-World yeah. War Three. He's talking about China. He's talking about Iran. He's talking about Venice fucking Wayla. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. My jaw was on the floor when I watched that. How do you think you get elected to president if I you're know. a serious contender? Well, you literally, it's uh, like I said, you're going to have to say every single thing. I'm, I don't know what, maybe he's all about that. I have no idea. But there is literally no serious contender for president of the United States 
who is not going to at the very least pay lip service to that at the right. very least. If not, but he it. went so far beyond yes, the pale. He's got to make up. For I understand yeah. lip service. I under I do. I understand lip service to Israel Palestine issue. I get it. I get lip service. To, but he went so yeah, far he beyond it. the pale. He, look, there's no the, way he believes that shit. Here's I, know, the I thing. don't believe he thinks. You can say <laughs> I believe Israel has the right to exist. If he believe, I'm sorry, Craig, but if he believes it, he would do the interview with Max Blumenthal. But he won't do the interview with Max Blumenthal. Uh, he'll do the interview with a with a guy, an idiot like me, who doesn't know the facts on all that stuff, and so he could he can bowl right over me. Right, but uh, he he won't do it with Max because he knows he's wrong. We're so, getting close to the election now. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say too, though, as well. It's like when people go, "Well, pasta, why did you?" 86 him after those comments he did say on jimmy's show he said to you when you went up to new hampshire and asked him you stand with israel it's one thing to say okay i believe israel has the right to exist i believe they should be recognized and whatnot but immediately out of the gate you have to call for a ceasefire he didn't call for, he didn't a, call ceasefire. for a ceasefire he almost justified we're going to give them what they need to, to protect themselves protect themselves by bombing people in gaza that's not the peace candidate and then you say unambiguously you're going to support them no matter what so if Israel goes after Iran and then Russia has to back Iran, right? I mean, you've you just eliminated yourself from being the the peace, peace candidate. candidate. And he gave a speech yeah. on peace. Yeah, he gave an hour long speech about peace. Yeah, and, and positioning himself as the peace candidate. And then he's like, "Let's go, let's go get China, let's get Iran, let's get Venezuela, let's get the Palestinians, let's start World War Three. Yeah, we have to have Israel because if we don't. Then we're going to lose our standing in the Middle East, and then China's going to take over. I'm like, is that you or Dick Cheney talking? It's Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East uh, because, as you know, we overthrew the other ones when they <laughs> wouldn't give us their stuff. That's right. Uh, There's only one left because the other ones had oil we wanted. Yeah. There's this thing called EnviroCleanse. It's an air purifier, and. It's so powerful, according to this copy, that the U.S. Navy chose it to purify the air on their ships. But let me tell you about my personal experience with EnviroCleanse, this, this uh, purifier. Uh, they sent us one, and uh, Misha put it in my bedroom. And normally my bedroom always smelled musty. I, was, I thought we had mold. I brought in a mold specialist. The guy says, I can't find any mold. I'm like, but do you smell it in here? And he said, check your balls. And he said, check my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. And so I uh, so Misha puts that in there. I come back from a road uh, trip doing comedy and I'm like, oh, my God, that horrible smell is out of my room. And it was because of that EnviroCleanse thing. It's amazing. I, so now I'll, I'll, I'm going to have it forever. But uh, let me tell you a bit more about this. They have a sale uh, and the 30 percent off. It's uh, official cold and flu season, and now the new COVID strain is out. Oh, God. EnviroCleanse has proven to capture and destroy flu and COVID viruses in your home, plus bacteria, toxins, mold, and allergens. That's what it says right here. It says EnviroCleanse has been proven. So it's how you fight back against, against the entire family getting sick. That's what it says. Uh, in fact, EnviroCleanse is the only home purifier that promises you and your family better health. And it makes that promise by helping clear your home of cold, flu, and cold COVID viruses. That's why I have EnviroCleanse in my home, the new science in home air purification. <laughs> Don't miss this 30% off sale. or buy, And you're going to need it. Uh, order your EnviroCleanse home air purifier while supply. And here's how you, here's what you do. You go e, go to ekpure.com, that's ekpure.com, and use the promo code JIMMY30. That's ekpure.com, code JIMMY30, ekpure.com, code JIMMY30, and enjoy your clean air. Hey, come see us doing a, a live stand-up show in Bloomington, Illinois, Indianapolis, Levittown, New York, Red Bank, New Jersey, Wilmington, Delaware, Covina, California, Burbank, California, Oxnard, California, Venice, California, and Palmdale, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Mm -hmm.